So you read the title right. Today we're going to get into the release date for Super Dragon Ball Heroes episode 49. Also, what you can expect from this episode. So if you're brand new, make sure to hit that like button. Likes go a long way on this channel. Subscribe if you're brand new. Turn on those post notifications. That way you don't miss a video. With that being said, the release date for Super Dragon Ball Heroes episode 49 is June 10th, 2023. The title for this is called The Strongest vs. The Deadliest Unleashing Power Beyond Limits. The summary goes as follows. The Maker showed his overwhelming power when the Dark King was about to crush Isles. The power of the Supreme Kai of Time, Vegito boldly stepped in and delivered his devastating punch. The fight to the death finally reaches its climax. And if you just seen my latest video, at the end of that manga chapter, it said that each fight in each area is reaching its climax. So most likely what this is telling us is that the meager is going to be dealt with. He's going to be finished by the end of this episode. We're going to see some type of new transformation from Vegito, whether it's Super Saiyan Blue with Kaioken stacked on top, that blue evolution that Gogeta did against Goku Black, or will he pull out that Berserker Blue transformation that Vegito has exclusively to Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Others think that it will also be a possibility that he will use Ultra Instinct Omen. Let me know right now in the comment section below, which one do you want to see Vegito pull out? Personally, I do want to see a Fusion use a version of Ultra Instinct. Now I can tell you this, the episode will be premiered on the official YouTube channel page. Um, that premiere is going to start at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time for me on June 10th. I will leave a link to that premiere in the description below as well as the pinned comment. And shortly after the episode is premiered, I will have my review video up as well. Now, of course, the whole episode is not going to be about Demigra and Vegito. It's going to also show different areas, different fights. So we might be able to see what happened to Sail because we know in the manga, Gohan and Trunks fired off a combined blast to pretty much decimate him but we don't know if he survived like everybody's been saying the fact that he saved goku and vegeta from goku black just to get annihilated by trunks and gohan in their next arc is kind of crazy i guess we won't be seeing beast gohan within super dragon Ball heroes but there is a version of present gohan in the manga chapter as well as in the promotional anime episodes i believe in the manga chapter he's on planet namek and they're fighting against the dark demon ram warriors like deborah and all of them they haven't really showed him too much in the promotional anime episodes but he's there he's with piccolo but to be totally honest he wouldn't need beast gohan to fight against them regular ultimate would be enough but well, one question I really do have, and I wonder do you guys wonder the same thing. Bardock, where did Bardock go? After his fight with Ultra Instinct Omen Goku, he just disappeared. I thought he was going to resurface within the major fight, but he didn't. Not even against Shield. That was Yamcha and Vidro. Another person that we don't know what really happened to is Turles, at least in the manga. Because Vegeta and Turles was fighting... Majin Buu came up and interrupted the fight. Vegeta destroyed him in his Berserker Blue transformation. And as he got back to the fight with Turles, he was pretty much teleported by the Lady Supreme Kai Time to deal with Demigra. And we know Cell was watching both of them fight, but somehow Cell got wrapped up into Trunks and Future Gohan. So the question really is, what happened to Turles? After Vegeta defeats Demigra, what storyline is Super Dragon Ball Heroes is going to go into next? We already had a Rose Supreme Kai of Time. We dealt with few for I don't know how many arcs. Now we circle back into the Dark Demon Realm with Demigra. They made as well go into an Angel level threat now. What more can you really do? We already had Goku pretty much absorb the whole universe tree. So he really is overpowered. Capsule Core version of Goku will stump Dragon Ball Super version of Goku any day. Of course, 
I know this is Super Jack My Hero, so most of these questions won't be answered. But the future warriors in black, or the hooded warriors in black, Future Gohan, Bardock, Vitro, and the Namekian in black, what's going to happen with them? Because they were pretty much pulled from different timelines. We already know Bardock was pulled from the timeline before Frieza destroyed the planet. Are they going to be left there to just wander the universe? Or will they join the Time Patrol? Honestly, they will make great additions to the Time Patrol. There's no Namekian Piccolo in the Time Patrol right now. Bardock, I know that's a Xano Bardock, but I don't know if this is the same one. It's, it's kind of confusing when it comes to him. There is another version of Gohan. Xano Gohan is there, but they can add future Gohan. And the last person is Vidro. She's a whole different person, so she can just be added like it's nothing. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Make sure to leave a like. Likes go a long way on this channel. Make sure to subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. That way you don't miss a video. Because we talk about all things as Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Super, Super Dragon Ball Heroes. All those versions with the manga as well as the promotional anime to the original anime. As well as any new Dragon Ball anime or movie that comes out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Monkey.